Title, Where's Anderson's Stellar Feet? Asteroid City, More Dazzling Than the Cosmos. TLDR. Wes Anderson's newest creation Asteroid City is a celestial feast for cinephiles. Set in a 50s desert town, this movie is a visual treat, packed with exquisite retro details and a cast that's as star-studded as the night sky. It combines Anderson's distinctive storytelling with a rich narrative that tugs at your heartstrings, while leaving you questioning, what's the real magic, the meticulous artistry of the film, or the human connections it portrays? Full Story in Wes Anderson's vibrant cinematic universe, Asteroid City shines brighter than ever. Set in a picturesque desert town of the 1950s, this place is as colorful as its inhabitants. But are the breathtaking vistas and elaborate sets the true stars here, or is it the profound human connections that steal the spotlight? The town, with a snug population of 87, transports you back in time. Imagine this, a diner that could be straight from an Elvis movie, a one-pump filling station that oozes nostalgia, and tourist attractions that include an ancient asteroid crater and a buzzing observatory. Are we seeing Wes Anderson's homage to the golden age of cinema, or a commentary on the times that were? Anderson pulls together an impressive ensemble for Asteroid City, including familiar faces like Jason Schwartzman, Tilda Swinton, Willem Dafoe, Jeff Goldblum, and fresh A-list additions like Tom Hanks and Scarlett Johansson. It's hard not to wonder, who shines brighter? the experienced collaborators or the new stars in Anderson's cinematic constellation. In the midst of the town's celestial beauty, tragedy strikes. Augie Steenbeck, portrayed by Schwartzman, has lost his wife and struggles with the courage to tell their four children, including his stargazing son Woodrow. Hanks plays Augie's gruff father-in-law, in town to support the family. Are these characters navigating through their own emotional asteroid fields or finding comfort among the stars? As you would expect from Anderson's universe, romance blooms in the most inconvenient of circumstances, and unexpected events shake the town. Suddenly, mushroom clouds, atomic tests, and whimsical encounters force everyone to confront their fears. Does Anderson use these surreal elements to mirror the real-life uncertainty we all grapple with? Anderson intricately weaves Asteroid City into a 1950s play produced for television. And if that isn't meta enough, we even get glimpses of the behind-the-scenes action in nostalgic black-and-white footage. So, is Anderson blurring the lines between reality and fiction, or reminding us that we're all actors in our own stories? The film closes without solving its mysteries, but leaving its characters at a place of understanding. It subtly points out that despite all the scientific breakthroughs, forming a genuine human connection might be the grandest achievement of all. So, does Anderson's... Asteroid City illustrate that the ultimate discovery is not out there in the cosmos, but within our own hearts. Disclaimer, this article does not recommend or promote any movies or any other form of advice. It is purely informational and for entertainment purposes only. So, after journeying through Asteroid City, do you think Anderson's magic lies in his unmatched attention to detail, his star-studded ensemble, or his touching portrayal of human?